walking along the banks of Dunlook Creek and filmed this video on April 6, 2021. I think it's Tuesday, April 6. I'm not not doing a before and after video like I had been doing the playhouse that's where the ground is because right now we could use the rain because the ground is pretty dry. But there's a area that's been eroding away. I've been doing that for years. Actually this area used to do this a lot, I remember. Growing up it was pretty bad here. Of course back then there was houses here so the city would come down here and the county would come down here and with dump trucks of dirt and put it back. So I remember the 2001 flood was eroded a lot through here and it was put back. In fact there's a few areas like that done that. I point out another area that done that which has not done it recently. But what I like to point out is the creek comes up two feet, it's pretty much at the bank. Comes up three feet, it's overflowing the spots. Comes up three feet, it's usually starts to overflow down there by that walking bridge on West Virginia Street, which, well, former road bridge, now walking bridge, because it's no longer can handle the weight of cars, so now it's just a pedestrian walk bridge. This has been a foot bridge, walk bridge my whole life. In fact, that, was, that bridge, I'd like to point out, was built by the McKell Coal and Coke in the 1890s. It's been here ever since. So it's pretty much a original. Aside from the wood decking on top, it's all original. <laughs> Which I think is pretty cool that it's been dates back that far. It's been here as long as I can remember. I'd hate to see this go. I'm actually, honestly, I'm surprised it's still here. I really am now thinking about it. Because the maze of floods over the years we've had some major floods over the years so you know whoever built this bill look good the McCall Coal and Coal Company must have had some very very skilled craftsmen that built this bridge of very skilled walkers because you would think over all these floods over the years a little bridge like that wouldn't survive huh? there's some train trussles and past floods that go along the Dunn Luke Creek Brett's last been completely ripped out one before R.J. Corman took over the 2001 flood <coughs> completely destroyed the trussle, so it's the whole entire bridge was gone after the flood, so there was one that had to be replaced. And R.J. Corman's had to do extensive repair work on the line so many times after floods over the years. Every time we get a big flood, they're doing walk somewhere on the line. <laughs> but this area here, when I, the other day when I came down here, March 1st, if you look up my flood videos, so I got my March 1st flood videos, because I had a couple of flood videos from September last year, and for some stupid reason I deleted them, I don't know why. But the March 1st, 2021 flood, the water was pretty bad, it was right out the bank, and it's overflowing a little bit through here, but not bad. I didn't get a good video down there by the West Virginia Street Bridge, though, but I got some good videos in this area, and this whole area is underwater. This stretch, the water is right at the creek bank, but most of that through there was under from the creek, it was it was overflowing here, it was bad. Not as bad as I've seen it because sometimes you can't get down here at all. I've seen it so bad that you could swim down this creek of the street if you wanted to. I've seen the flow water that bad. Not that I would because I'm not that crazy. I'd never swim in flood water like that. The reason I think about that because of my dreams. I actually had a dream a while back because I know there's a bunch of people that live down here. In my dream, I'm swimming through the flood water. It's very weird because I'm swimming down West Virginia Street. And the friends I know that live down here are fishing. And they're out there at the fishing poles, the front porch of the house, and I'm swimming past and wave at them while they're sitting there in the porch fishing. And we're all like, look, it's flood like this. It's normal that it floods. It was a very weird dream, I could say that. But this whole area, the creek grace is three feet, pretty much at the bank. Some areas it's overflowing, some areas it's not, because between three and four feet overflows, depending on the area. West Virginia Street Bridge, that's the low area. The creek comes up five feet or more, that's, everything's under here. I just know that back after the 2001 flood, most of this road was gone. That's when the city put in these rocks here. I'm literally pointing them out in the video, but this big, huge box back there, I walked past that. I got them in the video that I forgot to point it out. It was after the 2001 flood when the city brought those there and, and used the excavator to set them in place. They also done all those over here because there's a road way over there. But most of this road in the stretch was gone. These wooden railroad ties have been here as long as I can remember. In fact, this whole area used to be live railroad ties all the way down through here. Look, I think McKell Cole and Coke probably done that when they were 
dress them when they dress the creek. Yeah, the Thomas McKell owned the mines here. At some point, after he passed away, the McKell Coal Company, well, his son William McKell inherited the thing after his son William McKell passed away. This ended up becoming, all this ended up becoming part of the New River Coal Company. Huh. I think it's interesting, there's some, a lot of history just here in Mount Hope below my house. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do a lot more videos in other places besides Mount Hope. But I love filming Mount Hope. I, I try to do a little bit of both out of a few videos of here where I live here in town where I live, I had a few videos to other places, so I'm trying to do a mixture of both. That way I could, because it's with my new job, it's harder and harder to get out and film stuff. I walk to even sift, so, and then the mornings I'll be mowing. I just know yesterday I mowed a lot, but there's this bridge, stone, beautiful stone structure. I can't prove it, but I do believe this is part of the original Canal Turnpike. I know this area here, the creek rises three feet, it floods. It's weird, because over there, that stretch I was walking through can go up to four feet before it's overflowing. You get past that a little bit, three feet. It's weird because the the creek bank is kind of goes up and down, goes down a little bit, up a little bit. There's many places in Kilsite it raises two feet at the bank. By the time it raises three feet, most of that area along some of our circle roads on the water. Usually by the time that's overflowing in this area, much of the kill sites all the way under along some of our circle road in the creek bank. Of course it very rarely gets big, deep enough to get on the kill site road. I don't think it did this past flood, I don't think it, in March 1st, 2001, I don't think it did. But I do got some videos in this area, all this is running from the creek that's running across the parking lot. I actually got in the sorts I go to. We actually got water in the sorts, I don't know how deep it got, but it got in there. It was bad. But here's another area that's interesting. Kind of curious. Yeah, it's probably not, but there's some wooden spindles along the creek bank here in the water a couple of years back. Of course, it was before, it's been more than two years, but I mean, some wooden spindles look like they came over an old house or whatever laying on the creek bank. I did not get them out because they looked like they was half rotted. I had to come out in a Ports of an old house or a staircase old house. I need to go back to that. I forget what store it was. It was an antique store somewhere that had a bunch of old woodwork like that. I need to go back. I know it's not Beaver Creek. I can't remember it's Hickory Tree. Actually, I need to look at Hickory Tree. Next time I go and walk my booth there, I need to look at all the booths because I think one of those booths there has a bunch of beautiful old woodwork. If they do, and it matches what's needed in the hotel here, I need to get some of it. I really do. <laughs> and don't. Yes. Yeah, the woodpeckers are carrying on about something. I'm trying to tell if the. I don't know, they just. I don't know if they're arguing about something or just talking, having an ordinary conversation, I can't tell. Sounds almost like that one that's upset about something. They're obviously married. It's kind of obvious those two, those two woodpeckers are married. <laughs> I'm sorry, I could not resist. <laughs> but then we head to Mountain Newmark. Get my tickets and nice drawing cast in my big huge winner. I want a whole dollar. I thought I might want a little bit more. I sec. I know I want something on the on the cast 25. I didn't win enough to go cut it in because if I win the full 25,000, I'd be all the way to Sauce and if I didn't get that lucky. 